How's it going guys, Archer Black C here, and uh, we are back with these uh, Wave 5 openings from Momocon. Um, so I'm sure you've all heard by now, we have received some of the Wave 5 Ultras from Momocon, and um, they were selling them there early, uh, they're about a month early, so pretty much about a month from this time you'll be able to receive these guys in stores. Um, one of these is pretty special being Hyper Dragonoid. He's going to get his like own video where I talk about him and compare him to Dragonoid Ultra. Um, so we're going to do uh, two, two videos with uh, these openings. So we're going to have these two guys first and then I'm going to uh, bust these two guys open in a second video. So y'all stick around for both of those. Uh, but for now we're going to head on to Chaos Lupithion Ultra and Ventus Hydronoid. Two very new Bakugan. Uh, Hydronoid is actually a callback from the old uh, show, the old line of uh, figures and toys. Um, but this is the back of Lupithion. Uh, he is very, very, very good looking. One of my favorites. Um, the paint scheme is pretty close. Uh, looks like they changed it on the eyes. It actually looks like they changed the design pretty heftily on the head of him since uh, prototype phase, which is where these uh, pictures come from. Um, uh, on the bottom there, we have some of the Wave 5 Bakugan. All of these we have, except Darkest WebM. They did not have Darkest WebM at Momocon, sadly, very sadly, because uh, I really wanted one. Uh, let's go ahead and look at Hydronoid uh, here in the case. He's got his art here, looking very mean, very angry. Uh, on the back here, um, we have... Uh, what? Hold on. I'm missing a Bakugan. Alright, I'm back, and I left this in the back of my car, and I started freaking out, because I was like, oh, I know I bought this, and I didn't want to lose my money on it. So, oh, I'm breathing hard, because I had to run up the steps. Oh, okay. This is Arliss Vicerox Ultra. So, <laughs> here we go. Now, let me sit back down, and uh, he will just go ahead and be added into this video. How about that? Alright, so I'm going to bust all these guys open and we'll see what we're working with. Again, check back in the next video for these two. Uh, but let's go ahead and check these eyes. Check these guys out. I'm breathing so hard. Oh, check these guys out right now. All right, guys, we're back and we got all these guys open. Um, they are looking so cool. I try not to fiddle around with them too much before I, uh, I, I brought them out to you in the video so I could give you my actual reaction to these. Um, so I've only taken them out and put them down and that is all that has happened. But before we get into those, if you haven't seen the list yet, uh, this is the Wave 5 updated checklist for Battle Planet. So, um, there, there's better pictures of it online. I don't know if I can get you very good views of this, but I'll go ahead and give it like a little pan down. Uh, noteworthy mentions are Kloptor on the second row, Killion on the third, uh, Trun Truncanius on, right over here. Um, uh, Pandox and Scorporos and Phaedrus Ultra also uh, there down into the cores we have notable mentions of Zentar uh, Vicerox core which we haven't seen yet um, Hydronoid core which just looks like a really souped up Nilius I don't know if you can see that right there but he's looking awesome um, and Cubbo and something brand, well, two things brand new are Fade Ninja, which are only going to be shown in Diamond at the moment, and then also Scorpio's Core. Uh, so we have a lot of new Bakugan to look at and get excited for on this list. And um, I, I'm sure you've seen it floating around, but here it is on my channel if <laughs> for some reason I'm your only source for Bakugan content. Um, well, this is kind of cool. The instructions make it, make it look like his parts are like metal, which is kind of neat. Um, anyway, so there's a list. I'll get a, a full shot here for you to pause and look at. Um, but brand new stuff there, stuff to look to, uh, stuff to look forward to, get excited for anyway. Um, but I'm excited for the things I have in front of me now. So um, I'm going to go ahead and start out with Vice Rocks here in the middle. Vice Rocks, Vice Rocks. It should be Vice, I think, because it's like a Vice. He's a crab pincer deal kind of going on. Um, <clears throat> cores he comes with are a shield and a fist. Uh, he's got a two, a two attack, uh, <clears throat> green fist and a two magic shield. Not the best cores in the world. Uh, but if we go ahead and look at his character card here, uh, you see he comes with those two cores. 
Uh, I love the art. I love what he looks like in his ultra form. I'm so excited to see what his evolutions look like. Uh, but we have a 404 Oralis Bakugan here. Um, uh, nothing too crazy. Not, nothing too crazy yet, anyway. Again, uh, we have no Evos for this. Uh, but, um, well, I tell you what, everyone. The, <laughs> the card uh, quality is infinitely better coming out. There isn't a bend on this thing whatsoever. Again, this is an Ultra, not a Core, but... There isn't a bend on this bad boy at all. So I'm very happy with that. Thank you very much, Spin Master. <clears throat> uh, Unstoppable comes with that. Um, I don't know why he comes with that. But um, uh, 600B, if that Bakugan's holding fist, uh, plus two Frost Strike. This card is going to be getting some more looks here soon um, moving forward. Let's go ahead and look at his figure. Um, he's very, very heavy. He's very big. He's bigger than he looks like he is. Uh, looks like he would be in the packaging. Um, oh man, I love his mold. His head. His head is so interesting looking. It's like, I don't know what to call it. It's like a little monster dragon crab. I uh, hope I'm giving you a good look at it here. But, um, I don't know, he's got his giant claw here on the side. Does it move? No, not really. Uh, moves in and out with a little cr uh, claw here on the side. This thing looks like it's going to be a pain in the butt to close. Uh, I like the back of him here. He's got this little tickling wing action. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Yeah. All right. Tickle feet in the back. Ooh, that kind of bends in. Um, but we can uh, do all kinds of stuff with this guy. He's got a folding action here. Uh, yeah. All right. Um, let's see if I can manage this. That seems self-explanatory. That seems semi-self-explanatory. Here, here. Okay, but what's the smart way of doing this? Okay, so his little pieces here have these little holes. Am I showing it off right? Yeah, these little pieces here have these little holes and then these pieces have these little prongs that are to hold them in like so, okay? So I'm sure there's an order to that, but I just kind of made it happen. Uh, ball form wise, he's clear. Looks like he can, yeah. Oh, it's a good little roller. Hopefully we get a good one. Oh yeah, that's nice, smooth. Very good path on him. Uh, let's see what he looks like when he opens. Can you see this? And he jumps forward, very uh, harsh springing action. Uh, and he catches it on his back, so he sits up kind of like that, like so, and uh, holds that core on his back. So, uh, that is Vice Rock's Ultra, guys. Uh, brand new Bakugan. Uh, your first look at it here on this channel. Uh, maybe your first look at it ever. So, Viserox Ultra, very cool looking. I love his, uh, I love his little face mold. I don't know, it's really nice. All right, cool. All right, let's move on to Hydronoid because I'm saving my new boy uh, over here uh, for last. Um, Hydronoid Ultra and Ventus. So he's a double shield guy. So uh, we're talking uh, Nil uh, Darkest Nilius Ultra partner. Um, uh, honestly, I can't think of any, <laughs> I can't think of the, uh, red shield users right now. Cause I, I never play that deck. Uh, anyway, um, shield wise, it comes with the Aquas Ventus, uh, 400 shield. So that's pretty cool. Uh, but you get a nice, uh, little shield trap there <clears throat> and he comes with rock riser, uh, which is one of those new flip cards that stops somebody who's sitting on a core. So this is stop shields at all. Um, so, uh, if, you know, if you're going somewhere and you know somebody's running Nilius, or if you know somebody's running, uh, I mean, this is just great for stopping Nilius in general. Um, when I say Nilius, of course I mean Chaos Nilius. Uh, after this weekend, come to find out that's uh, best bet uh, going to be everywhere. So, um, anyway, it's a stop. Uh, this is a rare, a rare flip card. Uh, I didn't realize that, but cool, we get a rare out of this pack too. Um, other than that, let's go ahead and look at his character card. He is a double shield for 601. So this is the same stats as Mantanoid Ultra. Uh, so judging upon his evolution, we'll see whether or not he's better to run. Again, you have to factor in the fact that he has the double shield. So that could uh, give him a better wager for deck building in the future anyway. Um, but as it sits now, it's a Mantanoid Ultra even. Uh, but we know Mantanoid Ultra's Evo is just great. So, um, 
<clears throat> we'll have to see about him. But uh, interesting, especially for Ventus. Now, let's look at this figure. It's very, very interesting. I'm excited to see how it works because I didn't play with... I, I didn't touch anybody else's... Um, uh, of these Wave 5 things at Momocon because I wanted to experience them for myself. So the only thing I really messed around with was the Hyper Dragonoid because he's so interesting uh, in just the fact of how he's made. Um, but this is Hydronoid Ultra, guys. He is we're like on this little pedestal. He's got a tail to balance him. Uh, he is Hydronoid because he has one head in the middle and then he has his heads as his little arms that are popping out here. So uh, it's really interesting design. Um, and it looks like he's actually going to be relatively easy to close, I would wager. Um, yeah, so uh, let's just one good look at him here. A little turn. All right, so uh, let's see where... Where's the magnet on the top here? Okay. All right, so let's try to... I would assume this closes here like that. Here, where are these feet going? Oh, I closed feet. So we got a, uh, who else does that? I can't think of it right now. Here, that closes off the bottom. No, see, something's wrong with, something's wrong with that. Uh, <laughs> how does that get in there? Hold on. Oop. This guy's gonna spring way up. That was a very uh, tight spring uh, there. All right, let's see if I can get these feet up. Okay, I'm back. Um, it's actually been about two and a half hours since that uh, camera cut out because I got distracted uh, while my phone was charging. But anyway, I left off and Hydronoid was at this state. And uh, I don't know, it's really cool. I think it looks like a really cool core Bakugan, but let's go ahead and finish this since now uh, in my head, this video is way past time of being over. Anyway. Um, so let's do that, fold the head in and that, and he looks so cool in ball form. Wow. So his heads are actually showing up on the outside of the ball, so it's really cool. I'm gonna get a good close up of that. Yeah, that's really awesome. See how he rolls? Relatively straight. Kind of a left hook to him. Oh, never mind. We, we, we good. All right. Um, let's see. Um, that should be enough for my, uh, horrible rolling skills. Oh, it's not. Whoa, big hop there. Catches it on his head, and, um, I mean, he should stand like that. I'm sure it's possible to get him to stand. Um, but, uh, when we get the oralist version of this, y'all already know that that is a, a must-buy, um, this is just a good start for me and my collection. And he's Ventus, which is, like... My favorite faction, so uh, I, I like it a lot. You can actually spread his little heads out a little bit. I thought they were actually kind of stuck together, but once he's open, you can pull him down, so it actually looks a lot better. Uh, oh yeah, a lot better, actually. Put him down, yeah. So, uh, there he is in all his glory, Hydronoid Ultra. So, uh, I'll put him over to the side, um, get my, well, not mine, anyway, all right. Uh, main event for me right now is definitely Lupithion here. So, uh, let's go ahead. He's got a shield and a green fist. He comes with the good green fist. Uh, so that's nice. Right? 152? That's a good one? Yeah. Uh, 152 is there for you. And a red shield of plus 50, plus 1. I don't like that core. Um, he comes with Shield of the Faithful, uh, which is a 5 cost. Uh, plus nine, if the Bakugan's holding a shield, draw two cards. Um, so, uh, I don't know how I feel about that. Maybe that fits into Chaos somewhere. Uh, I'm not sure. We haven't done a lot of Resurgence testing yet. So, um, anyway, character card, Chaos Lupithion Ultra. So, uh, red shield, green fist, of course, and 400B, two attack. Domination, if you were holding the most Bakugan cores, plus four attack. Um, so, uh, obviously, you know, Chaos is going to be doing a lot of that, um, uh, picking up cores with Consort and, uh, Mega Punch and stuff like that. So, uh, there are options for you to make that ability happen for sure. Um, don't really care about the card, to be honest with you. I just want to look at this. So, uh, I've been waiting a long time 
and he has a little uh, Maxator uh, squish uh, that Maxator has. Um, he's his feet are really like delicate feeling. Can he do the thing? Oh, can he? Oh, not really though. Yep. Well, uh, he can't run. Anyway, <laughs> Maxator does it better. Anyway, uh, Lupithion looks so cool. This is probably one of their most detailed models yet. Uh, with like the claws and the feet and the legs, everything's so like hyper detailed on him. Uh, I just kind of locked his arm back in place there. Oops. Um, but his head has really good details on it. Uh, the paint job is really cool. Uh, they kind of cover his mouth there, and that changes with the factions. Uh, my favorite one of this I've seen so far. Well, uh, second favorite uh, is the Orlis one that I saw in the case at uh, Momocon. Um, the darkest one though uh, that you see on the little sheet I showed you earlier uh, looks fantastic just color wise uh, the darkest one has a cool ability uh, that makes you like um, makes both people discard a card on Victor uh, so it plays into darkest stuff but this one's fun too uh, it's just really cool he's smaller than I thought he was gonna be um, so just the fact that they fit this much detail in you know, this big of a Bakugan is actually pretty cool. Uh, his back's cool. His tail helps him prop up. So, if you, you know, that's how he's sitting down on that tail. Uh, let's try to roll him up. Uh, I haven't done this yet. Uh, looks like his head's going to tilt down. These feet have this weird, like, outward, like, set to them. I think the tail locks in there. Ooh, ooh. He might be a little tricky. Those need to go somewhere. Oh, wait. Okay. So, there. Hold the head in. Close it. And the f little arms go back and in. Yeah, there we go. All right. So, he looks wicked in ball form. He's got, he's got a lot of claw stuff going on. Uh, both his claws, you can see his, his hand claws and his feet uh, are visible from the outside. And it's got this really cool detail uh, up here on his back. He's got this weird hole. These weird double holes in his back, which make me, <laughs> make me think of like uh, Baku gear or whatever you used to call those things. The things that like hooked into the other ones and you got like bonuses and stuff. Uh, personally, I don't want to see those, but that's, <laughs> that's what this is reminding me of right now. I don't know why this is here. Uh, I don't know if you're even seeing that, but those are deep holes that are just kind of open. I don't know what's going to go in there, but uh, maybe we'll see. Um, but uh, this looks really cool. He's got a really nice, he's hefty. He's very, uh, very heavy. This is definitely a try to roll it fast and knock somebody off kind of deal. Oh, and he does like a crazy flip when he opens up. Um, catches it on his back. And uh, that's it. That is Lupithion Ultra, guys. He's looking really nice. Um, some guy had like prototypes of these on Reddit. So you might have seen them before, but this is the final version here. And uh, he's very nice. It's very heavy. This top, where his magnet is up here, this you can feel it. All the weight's like up there. But then also it's got pretty heavy stuff down here where the spring is. You can kind of see the spring there. Yeah, a lot of weight down here as well. So... Uh, anyway, uh, that's part one of this Wave 5 opening. Um, again, next video we're going to have these two. And then Hyper Dragonoid is going to get his own video where we kind of talk in detail about him because he's definitely interesting uh, and just in regards to the game itself. So thank you guys for watching and make sure you tune in either tomorrow or the end of this day. I don't know how I'm going to do it uh, for the next video. Uh, if you like that, or if you like if you like this, like the video, uh, subscribe to the channel, and tell your friends, and bring them over here. I got plenty of battle videos. I got a cool video I just did where I battled the world champion Simo. Uh, I won't tell you the result, even though some of you might know already. But go check it out. We have multiple camera angles and stuff, and it took me a long time to edit it. So just go check it out. It'll be a good time. Uh, other than that, guys, we'll see you in the next video. See you later. Bye.